Welcome back to another Glanmore Museum Makers. I'm Dave, and today we're going to take a look at this beautiful little game board from 1885. So this delicate little peg solitaire game dates from about 1885, and underneath there is the box for the pegs. Let's pull that out, and the box itself has mitered corners and a little groove along the outside edge that slides into a little rail on each side. And the pegs, there are 37 of these, you can see the pegs have been turned and they're made either out of uh, bone or ivory. It's a little hard to tell. And they are turned and very delicate and you would place them in the holes in the game board. You start with the center hole open and try to remove as many pegs as possible by jumping over other pegs, checker style. So we're going to recreate one of these today. So we have a cow bone that I picked up from the pet food store that's been bleached and cleaned and I've used a hacksaw to trim off little lengths and I'm going to use a belt sander to grind off the edges and make it kind of round in profile and then I'll chuck that in a drill and run that around on my belt sander to form our pegs.
He's not super precise. So there we have our game board. Now it is made out of a slightly thicker material than the original. Uh, the original is a little daintier. Uh, and my pins are not nearly as precise. On the left, we have an original pin. Now the originals have quite a bit of variation between one another. And on the right, we have one of the ones that I made. Now I've made a handful of these, but I haven't made all of the ones required to do the board. I'll do that over the next little while just want to have some time. Um, it's not terribly precise in terms of a replica, but it's not bad considering that I made it with a cordless drill and a belt sander. So there we have our replica 1885 peg solitaire board with a selection of pegs and a little box to hold the pegs. It slides in underneath. I've drafted up a design for this, so if you want to try one of these yourself, you can find the design in the description down below. We Send us a picture. We'd love to see your work. Until next time, I'm David Glanmore, encouraging you to stay safe, have fun, explore history, try something out. Cheers.